VLC is one of the best media players that will play just about any video or audio file that you have on your computer. If that's all you use it for, then you're missing out on the other cool features that are included with the VLC media player. In this video, I will show you 15 tips, tricks, and features for use with VLC. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. If you ever need to record your entire desktop, VLC offers a built-in screen recorder. To use it, here at the top, go to Media. From the drop-down, select Open Capture Device. Change the capture mode to Desktop. In Options, choose the desired frame rate for the capture. At a minimum, you should enter in 30. 60 is what I usually use. Below that, where it says Play, select the drop-down arrow and select Convert. Now select your video codec. I prefer H.264 plus MP3. Click on Browse to choose the destination of your recording. Now give your file a name and click on Save. Click Start to begin your recording. When you're done recording, go back to VLC and click the Stop button. Your recording will be available in the destination you specified earlier. For recording your webcam, some of the steps are similar as those for capturing your screen. I'll move through this one quickly. Go to Media and select Open Capture Device. In Capture Mode, pick Direct Show. For Video Device Name, select your camera. And for Audio Device Name, select your microphone. Same as before, go down to Play, click the drop-down arrow, and choose Convert. Select your video codec. Click Browse to choose the file path and name your file. Hit Save. Just like before, Start begins the recording and Stop ends it. If you want to capture a screenshot of a particular point in a video, VLC makes that process simple. Just right click inside the video, hover your mouse cursor over Video, and select Take Snapshot. The keyboard shortcut to do this on Windows and Linux is the shift key plus the letter S. On Mac, it's the command key plus alt plus S. All screenshots are automatically saved to your pictures folder. VLC includes a converter that can change a video or audio file to another format. This one is my absolute favorite feature that I use most often. Here's how you do it. Click on Media and select Convert Save. In the pop-up window, click on Add and select the file that you would like to convert. Click Open. Then click on Convert Save. Now choose the file format you would like to convert your file to. I'm going to change this one to ASF. Click on Browse to choose the file path. Give your file a name. Hit Save. When you're ready, click on Start to begin the conversion process. When it's done, the converted file will be in the folder you selected earlier. If you want to record a video or audio playing in VLC, here are the steps. Go to the menu bar and click on View. Select Advanced Controls. In the lower left, a new layer will appear with more controls. To begin recording, click the Record button. To finish recording, click the Record button again. Your video recordings are saved to your videos folder, and audio recordings are saved to your music folder. You can bookmark parts of a video with VLC, making it easier to come back to those points later on. To use the bookmark feature, go to the menu bar and click on Playback. Go down to Custom Bookmarks and select Manage. In the new window, click on Create at the section of the video you'd like to bookmark. You can create as many bookmarks for a video that you need. It surprises me how many people are unaware that VLC has a graphic equalizer, considering that there is a button located in the main window. Another way to access the equalizer is to go to the menu bar, click on Tools, and select Effects and Filters. You just simply have to tick the empty box to enable it, and it comes packed with a ton of presets. If you make any changes, remember to click on the Save button. 
you can add your own watermarks on a video through VLC without the need to download video editing software. For this one, go back to Tools and select Effects and Filters once again. Click on the tab for Video Effects and choose Overlay. Your watermark can be your own logo or text. For this one, I'll show you how to add your logo. Select the empty box next to Add Logo. Click on the Browse icon to find your logo. Double click on it. The default location is in the upper left corner. You can move it around using the top or left, up and down arrows, or if you know the exact location, you can enter those numbers here. You can also adjust the opacity. When done, click on Save, and then close out the window. Let's head back into Tools and Effects and Filters real quickly. I'd highly recommend experimenting with the audio and video effects. In Audio Effects, go to the Advanced tab. Enabling and adjusting the pitch slider while video is playing is interesting. In Video Effects, you have several adjustments that you can play around with, including changing the hue and brightness, crop a video, and add effects like motion blur and spatial blur. And the synchronization tab is also useful when adding separate audio or subtitles to a video. Now I'll show you how to stream and download videos using VLC. The stream download feature does not work with all websites. The first step is to copy the URL of the video that you would like to stream or download. In VLC, click on Media, then select Open Network Stream. In the empty box, paste the URL of the video that you would like to stream or download. If you want to stream the video, click on Play, and that video will stream in VLC. At this point, if you want to download the video to your computer, in the menu bar, click Tools and select Codec Information. Copy the URL in the location box at the bottom of this window and paste it into the address bar of your browser and then hit Enter. At any point in the video after it begins playing, right click on it and select Save Video As and just select the location to download it to your computer. If you've ever wanted to set a video as the desktop wallpaper on your screen, which might be useful for family videos, your favorite movies, or anything else, in the menu bar, click on Video, and select Set as Wallpaper. That's all there is to it. There may be times when you need more than one VLC window opened at the same time for multitasking purposes. To do this, go to Tools and select Preferences. Go down to the section Playlist and Instances and uncheck the box next to Use only one instance when started from File Manager. Then click on Save. Now with that box unchecked, you can run multiple instances of VLC on your computer. If you're like most people, you probably watch videos in full screen. You could hit F on your keyboard or double click on a video to do this, but if you want every video to start playing in full screen, go to Tools, select Preferences, click on the Video tab, and check the box next to Full Screen. Then click on Save. Now every time you open a video, it will automatically launch in full screen. In addition to playing your video and audio files, VLC has a cool feature that will let you play internet radio stations and subscribe to podcasts. To add a podcast, in the left pane, look for the internet section, and to the right of podcasts, click on the plus sign. Enter the podcast's RSS feed URL and click on OK. Now select the podcast you just added in the list. And in the right pane, it will show you the episodes for the podcast that are now available. Below Podcast, there are a couple directories with tons of stations to choose from. You just need to double click on the station to listen to them. This next one is an interesting feature that will turn any frame of video into a jigsaw puzzle. Here's how you do it. In the menu bar, click on Tools and select Effects and Filters. Go to Video Effects, Geometry tab, and check the box next to Puzzle Game. 
You can set the rows and columns up to a maximum of 16 each. When you're done, click on save and then close it out. All that's left to do is to solve the puzzle. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you use a cool VLC feature not mentioned, let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.